Huh? Hey guys, welcome back with another episode of Cooking with Eddie. What do you do when you've tried everything, you know, from tacos to pokey to just you name it, you've tried it. Um, so today we're going to do something different. We're actually going to do sculpin pizza. That's right, you've heard it. So we've got some nice fresh sculpin that we caught here. And I've got a cheese pizza that I bought from the store. And we're just going to do a semi-homemade sculpin pizza. It's not just any sculpin pizza, it's going to be a barbecue sculpin pizza. So there's two ways we're going to do this all at one time. I'm going to pop this in the oven at 425 and we're going to cook it for about uh, seven to eight minutes. While that's cooking, I'm going to be putting this fish on the grill and getting it all cooked up. At the same time, this will be done. I'm going to pull the pizza out and then I'm going to add the pizza. I'm going to add some barbecue sauce, some purple onion, bacon, cilantro, plethora of cheese, and some seasonings to go with it. So let's get started and let's see what it comes out. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna season our fish. I'm gonna keep it really basic. I've got some extra virgin olive oil, some garlic salt, and some minced garlic. I'm gonna lightly drizzle on my fish. Let's flip it over. Give it a nice little drizzle. Take your Lari's garlic salt. And you know, again, from some of my other videos, I ask, well, how much do you use? I never measure, I just have a technique. I do the little left and right techniques. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some garlic salt on this, going from right to left, starting from the back to the front, and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing. That's it. So just a light dusting of the garlic salt. Let's flip it over, do it again. All right, so this is now ready for us to go cook. I went light on the seasoning because this is gonna be a garlic pizza. So you don't really wanna overpower with the, with the garlic. So I'm gonna get this on the grill. Before I do that, I'm gonna pop my pizza in the oven. Um, just because it's a store-bought cheese pizza, don't be afraid, add to it. So before I add to it, let me wash my hands. So like I said, just because you have a store-bought cheese pizza, it doesn't have to be a store-bought cheese pizza. So let's doctor it up. So what I'm gonna do, take my extra virgin olive oil, same technique that I use for the fish. Just do a little rake method. Light drizzle. Let's go the other way too. So, made a little checkerboard. A little drizzle of garlic salt. Just a little bit of minced garlic. Okay, take it, kind of sprinkle it around. Okay, normally I would put Italian seasoning on this, but because I'm gonna put barbecue on it, I won't do that. Next, I'm gonna put some uh, mozzarella. Put it out of the bag, take it, just break it apart. Add it to your pizza. I think I gotta do another one. All right, so that's now not your ordinary cheese pizza. We've kind of doctored it up and we're ready to go. But I think I want to put some bacon on it now. That way the bacon will get nice and hot. So have some bacon right here. Let's cut some up. So in this case, I'm going to use the equivalency of four strips of bacon. Let's cut her up. Perfect. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is your own homemade pizza. So I just did a rough chop. I'm going to go ahead and add it around. Okay, if it's too big, you just break it apart as you're adding. And just like that, we have enough. All right, let's get these little morsels on there. So as I mentioned, this is going in the oven at 425 for about seven minutes. While that's cooking, this is gonna be on my flat top griddle that we're gonna cook it on, and we'll go take it over right now. Let's get this bad boy in the oven. 425. Let's set the timer. Seven, start. All right guys, so we've got our sculpin and we're getting ready to cook it. Um, I can see my, my skillet's a little hot, so I'm gonna put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil so this fish doesn't stick that bad. You can see it kind of running. Grill's kind of angry. Let's get the fish on there. All right, so we're gonna let this cook for about four minutes, two minutes a side. 
And then when it's done, I'm gonna put it in uh, a plate, maybe it's some Tupperware, and I'm gonna drizzle it with a little bit of brown sugar. Because remember, we're making a sculpin barbecue pizza, so I wanna kinda have a good sweet flavor. All right guys, so it's been about four minutes. Uh, let's take a look what our sculpin looks like. So right now you can see it's starting to break apart right there. That's a good sign that it's ready. Um, some of them are just about ready to do that. Don't worry about it, so that way it doesn't dry itself out. I've got some Tupperware here. I'm gonna put it in here, close the lid on it, and it's gonna basically cook from inside because of the steam. So as you can see, it's starting to fog up a little bit. It's starting to sweat from the inside. That's what we want. Keep it nice and tender. Keep the steam in there. Uh, make it easier to to put on our food and it'll be nice and tender. All right guys, so the pizza's gone off for our Sculpin barbecue pizza. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got some red onions, some cilantro, some Hawaiian barbecue sauce, and my Sculpin. Let's create this bad boy, huh? So what I wanna do is I heat it up because the pizza came out, I heated up a little bit of the barbecue sauce out. So I'm gonna put a little bit on it first. Just kind of drizzle it around. Let that have some fun in there. Okay, let's add some of our sculpin. Okay, as you can see, it's still steaming. So it's gonna be hot. So get your fingers ready or let's uh, get yourself a fork if it's too hot. Let's go put some on. See, comes apart pretty easy. All right? You know you've got enough when your fingers start burning and you filled up a whole pie. Let's go add some uh, purple onion and some cilantro to this bad boy. Kind of drizzle around. And this is going to be seasoned to taste. So if you're not a big onion fan, you don't like much of it, use it sparingly. And then the same goes for the cilantro. Let's add the rest of our barbecue sauce. Shit, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I want to add just a little bit more. Just a little drizzle on there. I just want to add just a little bit of cheese. Now remember, I had fish on my hands, so I don't want to put my hands inside there to cross-contaminate. So just hold it back. All right, all right. Let's put this back in. Um, I'm gonna let this go for about five more minutes. Let's put it back in. Set the timer, 425. Let's go five minutes. Start her up. All right, guys. A minute into this, I realized I forgot the brown sugar. I mentioned I drizzled a little bit on there. It is a sweet pizza. I just want to add just a little bit on there. So let's go ahead and just drizzle a little bit of brown sugar on there. So I'm gonna put some in my hand, just a little bit. Let's go ahead and drizzle it around. Drizzle it around. We're good. It's gonna go down. I'm gonna reset this timer to four minutes. Give a little bit of extra time. Now let's up that cook. All right guys, so the moment of truth, uh, our timer went off. We're about to have some barbecue sculpin pizza. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, baby. That's bomb diggity. I can't wait to get my hands inside that. So since my dad wanted to go all out with a pretty interesting pizza, I should say, we also got some pretty out there beers. This one is strawberry milkshake. I'm gonna lie, I'm pretty scared about that. This one doesn't sound nearly as bad as, since it's beer, strawberry milkshake sounds pretty bad. But this one doesn't sound as bad, but it's still kind of out there. It's pretty, I'm pretty scared to try this one too. Oatmeal raisin cookie. Oatmeal raisin cookie beer. So, um, yeah, we're gonna give those a try and uh, see if they're good or bad. Yeah, and this, this brewery for the uh, strawberry milkshake, 
That brewery's out of uh, San Bernardino, my old stomping ground, so I had to represent. It's one of the reasons we got that. And again, it's an out there beer with an out there uh, pizza. And then this brewery, uh, they're out of Temecula. So this is the strawberry milkshake. It's like, it really is like pinkish. Cheers. Um. Sweet. Yeah. Not, not terrible. Actually kind of tangerine-y type of taste. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't taste like strawberry and definitely doesn't taste like milkshake, thank God. <laughs> but it's, it's actually good. I like it. Now, the oatmeal. This one smells like bananas, weirdly. That's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, that's that's definitely a you beer. That one actually tastes the flavor that it is. That one literally tastes like oatmeal raisin. Yep, and I'm okay with that. So what we did there was we allowed a little bit of time because this was in a 425 degree oven. So we're letting our pizza cool a little bit. Let's give it a shot. All right, I'm going in. Is as good as you expected? It's really good, man. This is really good. If I had this versus barbecue chicken, I would choose this over the barbecue chicken. This is amazing. You gotta try this. Give it a try. That says a lot, because barbecue chicken yeah, my pizza hair is, is standing my, up. Barbecue chicken pizza is my favorite pizza, so I don't know how to feel about fish on my pizza. Well, two first for me. Milkshake flavored beer and fish pizza Both surprisingly very good guys. This was Tony's pizza on sale at Vons for two dollars and sixty nine cents You saw how we doctored it up use the ingredients for barbecue chicken pizza and we substitute the chicken for sculpin <laughs> Sculpin barbecue pizza you saw it here first try this recipe Shout us out if you have any questions. We'll help you out. You gotta make this pizza. Definitely gotta try it. It's This is something that probably costs a total, I mean, exclude the fishing trip, obviously, but a total of, what, like $5, maybe less? Yeah. I mean, everyone's got barbecue sauce in your in your pantry or fridge. If you don't, you're gonna spend, you know, five bucks for barbecue sauce, five bucks for a cheese pizza. You've got everything else there, and this was a win. Yeah, this is a very cheap pizza to make that you could honestly sell in a pizza restaurant. Guarantee you, you buy this pie, no problem, 25 bucks and you pay it. It's freaking good. All right guys, so that's our episode for uh, Cooking with Eddie. Uh, stay tuned next time when we actually do Pizza Rito. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a Pizza Rito. We'll do like a surf and turf combination and um, we're gonna cook some carne asada up here in a couple of days. Uh, we're gonna, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it up with some uh, rockfish and uh, stay tuned for that. So, see you next time. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Give this video a nice big thumbs up and check out our other Catch and Cook videos with Cooking with Eddie. And uh, we will see you all next time.